Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you an unboxing of a typo mystery box. So this has already been opened, but just to give you the backstory, I was making an order from Typo anyway. I quite often buy a little, a few bits and bobs. So wanted to check out one of their mystery boxes. This is the seven items for 15, no, the eight items for 15 pound box. It's the staying home bundle. So yeah, I have actually opened this because I bought some of the bits and bobs. And I will say my first disappointment is that this isn't actually a mystery box. It's all in one box, so I bought like five or six items anyway and had to remember what was mine and pick out my things. So I have seen every item um, when I wanted to do a full sit down unboxing, I guess, saving boxes. I just expected a box inside the box, if that makes sense. As I said, I've already seen the items. I know that I am not impressed. Um, I'm going to try and keep the negativity to a minimum, but yeah, I'm, I'm not impressed. Like really at all but i had this video planned so i guess i'm going to show you what's in them so that you can make an informed decision on whether you would like to buy one of these boxes the first item the biggest item that would have been useful for becca's bacopoli or bacopla thon um so i might actually keep it around it's this giant dice <laughs> like i don't know why you would actually want this for a, a normal reason it, it's kind of, it's a cushion, I guess, but it, it's not exactly comfortable. Um, but yeah, I might keep it as a giant dice to roll for bookish related things. It, it is quite big, actually. Um, yeah, I should probably talk about the price of this box. So you pay £15, but it says it is worth £50. I know that looking at this, they have taken the price before any sales on their website because... The reason I made an order is that there was 70% off on a load of things. So I know that most of these things were in that sale, including this, but it originally retails for £15. So this is the worth of the box, really. Um, but I think they were selling these for about six at the time of me buying the mystery box. But yeah, I really don't know where I'm going to put this. Next, something I'm going to hopefully pass along to a friend are some novelty socks that say, sorry, I've got plans with my dog. Um normally retail for 66 pounds sorry but this is a really unique item if you don't have a dog it doesn't work i guess this works no matter what because it has no purpose but if you don't have a dog you don't want socks that say i've got plans with my dog then we have another pair of socks because why would you not want more socks and it's these rubber duck socks again retailing for six pounds but i can tell you that they're currently on the website for one pound fifty because I already bought a pair of these socks in this order for my dad. Um, so yeah, not too impressed with them coming. The same, I get stay at home. There's two, these are women's, these are men's. Not that it really matters, apart from women's might, you might struggle to get them on a man's foot. But yeah, two pairs of socks. So fine, I guess, in terms of the box, but not too impressed, especially when I know the, the price. Um, next, one item that kind of makes sense uh, we have some stainless steel straws again retailing for eight pound but i know these are on offer because i bought some <laughs> these are just plain silver i do have exactly the same um in rainbow i forgot what the actual word is um iridescent i feel like i'm making up words whatever that is the multicolored metal um i have I live alone i now have about 15 of these straws so i guess i'll keep them but like i really don't have any need for them but who's also who is using reusable straws at home who's using straws so i don't think this really fits the box next we'll just go for my very disappointing items because i'm looking at them and they're making me angry we have a brooklyn 99 2021 calendar includes vouchers includes vouchers for what I don't know but a 2021 calendar i'm filming this at the end of march we're already a quarter of the way through the year however terrifying that is i don't want a calendar at this stage in the year if i if i wanted a calendar i'd have one by now i guess mystery box brooklyn 99 it is quite popular so this would suit quite a lot of people i personally am not interested and i don't want a calendar so not too impressed but could be worse and it's then made worse but the next item, which is a Friends 2021 desk calendar. 
so this is where it is. This does say vouchers. I really wonder what these vouchers are for. But at the end of March, I definitely don't need two calendars. Again, retailing for £6 each. I know they're going to be cheaper now because with a quarter of the way through the year, I, I don't want calendars. The world hasn't opened back up yet. I don't have enough plans to fill my diary, so I definitely don't have enough plans to fill two calendars. So now we're on an item I kind of like, just to keep it a bit discreet, a bit more unboxing to do. It is a travel water bottle. So again, this is the stay at home box and we have a travel item, but this is the gotta go drink bottle, um, stays cold. It's got this cool like, I want to think of it as like dirt, like brown marble. Um, it's it's cool for a drinks bottle. It's like, I don't have one this size, I guess. And it looks relatively good. But yeah, I'm, I'm in my stay at home box. I'm not going anywhere with a drink that needs to stay cold. <laughs> and finally, my favourite item, the only item I like, is a candle that says doing nothing candle. Smells like sitting on the couch all day long. This makes perfect sense for this box. It's the only item I like and it's the only one that makes complete sense. So it is actually quite a pretty looking candle. It's bright pink, doing nothing. Um, sweet woods scented, it says here. And on here it says sweet tobacco scented. Interesting. Oh, it's wedged in there. Okay. I mean, it does smell nice. It's bright pink. Everything in my apartment is pretty much pink. So this will go somewhere. But yeah, one item, I wouldn't spend £15 on this. So I'm disappointed at the rest of it. So there we go. That is the entire box. What do you think? Am I being too harsh? Am I being too lenient? Would you complain? I don't know. I'm like on the verge of complaining. Um, but I'm going to try and reel myself in, see if anyone could make do with any of these items. But yeah, on that note, that's all the complaining I have to do today. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.